Hello, honey, and welcome back to my channel. I am Bubbly Fern, and today we are going to be unboxing the Sugar Muses. I'm sorry, not the Sugar Muses Deluxe, but the Midnight Muses Deluxe. This is the new Midnight Muses Deluxe box, I'm pretty sure. Christy from Sugar Muses contacted me a couple of months ago now and told me that she has her new Sugar Muses or I'm sorry, Midnight Muses Deluxe Boxes. And I was so excited about that because I am obsessed. I've always been obsessed with her Midnight Muses Boxes. They're kind of like a little darker, a little more gothy vibes, but I am like, I just love them from the beginning. They have, Christy has the most beautiful energy and I love it. So she also has her Sugar Muses Deluxe Box and um, the regular Midnight Muses Box. And then she also has a regular Sugar Muses Box as well. So she's really up and up, up and up. <laughs> she's really pumping up her her boxes and I'm so excited to see what is in the new Midnight Muses Deluxe box. So if you're excited about that, stay tuned and we will get into it in just a moment. Secondly, so I am going to be announcing the winner of last month's Sugar Muses Deluxe. <laughs> Sugar Muses Deluxe items. Um, I'm sorry that this video is coming up quite a bit late. I have mentioned in a couple of videos now, I have been having so many technical difficulties. I'm having to like wipe my entire computer. I've had, we have been like working on our entire router and our internet craziness here. It's It's been a giant honking mess. So I'm sorry about that, but I am working on it and hopefully it will be resolved, but uh, stick around till the end of the video and I will release the name of the winner for that one. And I will also be doing a giveaway for any of the items that I will not be keeping from this box. So, which will be a lot of them. I've been really trying to lessen all of the items in my personal collection because y'all know, I just, it gets crazy. So if you have a lot of witchy boxes, so I will be doing that and releasing back to my video. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Thank you. Well, I do want to do a video. Okay. I want to do too. So I will be doing another giveaway for all of the items that I will not be using in this box as well. So I'm super excited about that. I will be showing all the items um, at the end of this video too. So, and yes, so we're gonna do the unboxing and then I will do an awesome little spell and ritual with all the items in the box. So stick around and let's get right into it. Okay, so so I have decided to uh, put the camera down here a little bit, so I'm gonna be just squishing myself down here, that's okay. All right, so as you can see, it is a beautiful and windy spring day, and I really wanted to be outside, so I'm excited about this. It feels so nice out here, and uh, here we go. Oh, let's get into it. Ah, oh my gosh, ah, Sora, I love Ostara so much. It is my favorite Sabbath, so I'm so excited. And I absolutely adore it last um sugar muses ostara box that christy sent me so i'm very excited for this one so it is persephone's return and she does have the contents right here so i'm gonna cover that up ostara's return hopefully you guys can't see anything that will give it away i'm gonna throw that under there because i don't want it to blow away oh my gosh and we have this gorgeous artwork so pretty oh my goodness these are all done in-house i'm pretty sure so I love the vibes of this. The gorgeous like yellows, mauves, everything is so amazing. So, Ostara. And it's very cool that we're talking about um, Persephone with Ostara because that is not the typical goddess that I think of when I think of Ostara. So we're working again with a kind of little bit more of those darker vibes. And we have the Midnight Muses, or Midnight Muses card right here. So hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna try not to let it go on my face. So pretty. So here is everything in the box. Here you can see. Cannot wait. I see some gorgeous colors in here. So we have our little card here. Let's see what is inside. We usually get our like little tarot. Oh my gosh, this deck. We have the hermit, which I am definitely feeling hermit vibes recently. It has been a hard week for me and I've just been very, um, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a rough one, but I've been very internal and just kind of seeking that, seeking that lonely journey <laughs> to deal with it all. Look at that back though. Like I'm definitely going to get this deck. I'm loving it. So pretty, very, very shiny gold gilded. Cards feel nice too. They're almost like more, they're not, they have like a matte, 
kind of texture to them on out on like the outside of the gold so i love that very very pretty cannot wait to see what deck this is from i love that very like simple artwork on tarot as well just so you don't get overwhelmed especially when you're first learning and stuff it's really nice so we have a divination ball Ooh, exciting there is that. So this says, cleanse the divination by fall by holding it under the water, then pass it through the smoke of burning incense. So it looks like we have a, um, a little divination ball spell that we will be working on our ritual. And so that gives you a hint on what our spell will look like at the end. Little tea baggy. We have some mugwort dried botanical. I'm definitely gonna miss our little vials if we don't have them in here, but that is okay. We have so many of them still. So a little mugwort baggie. We have ooh, our Persephone's Return Botanical Offering Blend. So that's something that I also love about um, Chrissy's offerings is that she does like an actual mixed bag of herbs that work perfect for whatever what the intention that the box is around. Looks like we have some really nice, um, maybe like butterfly pea in here, which would be really cool. I'm not sure if that's butterfly pea, but definitely a lot of jasmine. Um, some other leaf, maybe like Yerba Santa or something like that. Though, so, loving this botanical blend. Let's give her a sniff. Let's see if it. Ooh, that's actually a lot more fragrant than I expected. I think this is butterfly pea right here. So we'll have to see and read about it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at this. We have a beautiful vial of what maybe looks like black salts or something. I will have to read about that. Y'all look no, I love my love my cork vials. And it just does feel like plastic, but that that is like I love the cork on it. Pretty cool. We have a little little box here with her cute sticker on there. Her midnight uses sticker. Let's see, I will try to give it to you guys first. I hide my face so it stops trying to, wanting to wanting to focus on me. Ah, you see it? Let's see what it is. A beautiful piece of amethyst, a nice amethyst necklace. I love where this is going to. So beautiful purple amethyst necklace, nice teardrop shape little cab very pretty color on it too on a nice silver chain that is so gorgeous and I know exactly who this is going to be going to last one I gave the little pink um, cat eye necklace to my daughter Tia because she is obsessed with pink and she also loves crystals and my middle daughter Alana <laughs> come here Alana is obsessed with purple and amethyst whoa you look like Mowgli with your crazy mane right here <laughs> so what is your favorite color alana purple purple bright purple do you remember like do you remember what this is more like a deep, like do you know what crystal this is um, what do you mean from the dinosaur world like remember do you do you remember what this this crystal is called though like the purple crystals the amethyst amethyst yep so you want to say hi to the honey hi. <laughs> so yes, I am sure this will be going to Alana. She looks so excited as soon as I pulled it out. <laughs> so I will probably be charming this for you and we will, um, I'll do a spell. Charming is imbuing something with like magical energy and magical attention. So I will be doing that for, for you in our spell. I was and then when she pulled it out because I did not know if she was going to be. You were shocked. Yeah, because I got really happy make, and excited. Yeah. You knew it was meant for you, huh? Why Beautiful. Why going to be like that? Yeah. So sometime when I when I get one that is not purple or pink or blue, which is my youngest daughter's favorite color, then <laughs> you guys will probably be getting in on the necklaces. But for now, that is gonna have to go to Alana. So sorry, honeys. <laughs> yep. You don't. You can't put water balloons in the grass. They pop. So that's why I told you girls not to do it without my help. But okay. What happens? Nobody listens to me. All right, so let's get into our next item here. We have a kind of like a big item, and then we have this gorgeous tealy blue 
color. I'm guessing this is our candle. So, oh my God, Christy's candles are delicious. Like, let me say, she, um, and her oils, like those are my two favorite things. Gorgeous. Oh my God, y'all, this smells so good. Oh. oh my goodness, I I know, look at that beautiful snake charm. That is so pretty, oh my gosh. So I'll probably, probably be burning um, this candle for our spell, but maybe I will use this to make this snake charm and I'll maybe make like a special necklace or something, put on a spell bag, something like that um, for the giveaway. So hopefully you like that. Let me know what you think about that It'll be great. right now before I do it. It'll be great to give it to Lila because she loves kind of like the green color. Yeah, she does. She but I do have to give oh, some of these things away to the honeys because we can't keep everything for ourselves. I want to give this energy to the honeys too. So let's see what else we have here. We have ooh, a couple of big items here. So let's pull our incense first. So y'all know I like leaving the juicy items for the last so we have our stara incense don't look at me look at the incense let's get her a sniff that's now <laughs> Ooh. how would you describe that it smells like something yummy <laughs> Very like, I definitely feel like it's very feminine. If it smells almost like has that really light, um, I want to say like powdery, but also floral smell to it. But it's a little bit sharper than like, you know, like that kind of like grandma's perfume. I guess smell is the powderiness, but at like at the same time, it smells sharper and more like powerful than that in a good way. So we'll be burning one of those for our. Our spell. Let's see what else we have. Oh my gosh, there's even more like bigger bubble wrap items in here. So let's start with this baby. Ooh, we have our oil here. So let's see what she is. Yay, you did a more thing. <laughs> All right. Let's see, we're gonna put it on this so it doesn't blow away. We have our Persephone's garden. This is gonna be the hardest thing for me to like to not keep but I've been trying to just release all my oils because I just like collecting them and looking at them and I will still use them like when I find very specific things that I that I want to like want to anoint anoint I love her artwork on this one it's just gorgeous I love like that deep tealy green blue with like yellows and stuff and even some oranges it's so pretty Ooh, that is not what I was expecting Hold on. Hold on. Can you don't keep interrupting? Okay. So very like sharp herby smell. Um, it's really nice. It's like hard for me to put my my finger on it, my nose on it. It's like has almost a. Uh, okay, so it's almost like when you go to like a really good florist and they has like all those cut that cut flower smell and um, you get like that really good, those really greeny notes of like the cut stems, but then you get like the florals as well. That kind of cut flower, like floral smell is really, really pretty, a lot sharper than I was expecting and not as like, usually her oils are like really sweet. So this is actually, which I also, I like, you know, I love my sweet oils, but this is like a really, um, it was really surprising and very, very nice smelling. So I'm excited about that. I think you will be too, because I know not everybody loves those super sweet oils like I do. All right, we have, I feel like that is gonna be our biggest item. Let me see what this is. Oh my gosh, now I don't know. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, whatever, we'll, we'll go with this. So we have another bubble wrap item here. And there's gonna be a plane going over. So let's see what she is. The plastic. The fairies are gonna be so mad at me. Oh my gosh, I've only seen the back of it. So you get to see the front of it first. Do you see it or? So look at that. The back of it is like bird skulls. That is so cool. And obviously like the front of it too, but it's like that has that. Oh my gosh, 
So we obviously have our really cool sphere holder. Everything about this is so gorgeous. Oh, look at my Rookie the boy is hanging out. Hi, Rookie. <laughs> he wants to be out here with us. So pretty. Oh my gosh. So that is obviously for our biggest item here. And I now see something hiding under here as well. So I'm going to tease us for even longer. And I'm going to show us this because let's see what it is. We have our Lady Grey Organic Earl Grey Tea. Beautiful. Ooh, it has like corn feather, corn feather, corn flower petals, natural bergamot flavor, flavoring, and a black tea base. So, very excited about that. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Definitely like that Earl Grey, that Earl Grey vibe and the Earl Grey smell that I love. I was like super, super into, especially like. Starbucks has like the, their Earl Grey, the London Fog, I think is what they call it. And it is so good with some um, cream in a, in a, like in an iced tea. So, oh my goodness. I'm super, I've been super into Earl Grey for a while. Very excited about that. Okay, and I think we have our final item here. She is a chunky and she is heavy. And let's see, let me just make sure there's nothing else I need here. All right, so we have our last item. And I can kind of, I can obviously kind of see what it is, but I think we can too. Let's open her up. I like always wanted one of these. Seriously. Oh my gosh, my hand is like sticking to it. We have a gorgeous, orb crystal ball here that oh you can see my face right hi that is amazing oh my gosh so pretty amazing size amazing weight and it looks like it's in beautiful shape and it is like absolutely crystal clear so cool oh my gosh so we have it on our little sphere i'm like scared to pick it up but very cool. Look at my face. It's upside down. It's so funny. Very cool. I cannot wait to get into our spell. So let's read a tiny bit about the pamphlet, which she usually outlines a spell in there. So the spells and rituals from March acknowledge a new growth in nature around you. Burn fires in celebration of the returning light. Begin setting the soil for your gardens. Perform spells for abundance, fertility, and new growth. I am all about all of those things. So very excited about those. Or what, what is it that's um, the energy and the inspiration in here. So it says, Osara celebrated this month on March 20th in the Northern Hemisphere. It is also known as the Spring Equinox, Lady Day, and Festival of Trees. This marks the time when the sun hits its zenith, its zenith at the celestial equator. During this vernal equinox, we celebrate the perfect balance of light and dark, inner and outer, above and below. Osara is known as a time to manifest abundance, rebirth, and renewed life force. Every year around a star, I am reminded of the Greek goddess Persephone. If you are not familiar with her story, let me summarize. Persephone was picking flowers in a meadow with her nymph goddess Hecate, bearing torches. When she learned that Zeus had conspired in her daughter's abduction, she was furious and refused to let the earth prosper until Persephone had retur was returned. Zeus consented, but, he, but because Persephone had tasted the food of the underworld, a handful of pomegranate seeds, a handful of pomegranate seeds seeds, she was forced to forever spend part of the year with her husband in the underworld. Her annual return to the earth in spring was marked by the flowering of the meadows and sudden growth of the new crops. Her return to the underworld in winter, conversely, saw the dying of plants and vegetation. Persephone eventually grew to love Hades, and, re and he remained faithful to her throughout her life. So that's a really beautiful story. Um, March brings the return of spring, new growth, and according to Greek legend, the return of Persephone to her mother, Dem Demeter. Demeter, sorry about that. Um, so I really, really love that. And like really showing just, again, the cycle of, of nature, return of the seasons. I'm just all about that and working with that throughout my practice. So this, the items in this month's box can be used in the order they are listers, used separately as you are called to do so. So very cool. We have our star incense sticks, our amethyst pendant necklace, Persephone's garden body oil, a star of candle. So infused with current rose and patchouli notes, a 
featured a, featured the brass serpent servant charm. <laughs> Go rinse yourself off. Not, not here. No, go, go rinse yourself off in the. In like my bathroom. Did you get sand in your mouth? So serpents and snakes are, represent fertility or a creative life force. As snakes shed their skin through sloughing, they they are symbols of rebirth, transformation, and mortality and healing. So I love that. I've been working on all the snakes as well and actually have a, new, a couple new snakes that will be coming into our family. <laughs> so that is really cool. I've always loved the symbology, symbolism of snakes. So we have our dried mugwort, our Persephone's botanical offering blend. So sprinkle this blend into a small vessel or bowl and place on your altar as an offering. It contains ja jasmine, amaranth leaf, and angel wings. So angel wings must be the blue that we see in here. Let's see. So magical properties include protection, insight, peace, abundance, and wealth. So we have our black salt vial, which is right here. Sorry about the wind. Hopefully you can hear me okay. So I like to ring my scrying ball clockwise with black salt. It absorbs negative energies and stagnant vibrations from your environment and is often used to spell the magical word magical work work to create boundaries assist with spiritual barriers and provide protection use that black salt to ward off any negative and psychic energies while protecting yourself and your space and it also contains essential oil so do not eat it <laughs> um ooh, okay so i'm gonna read a bit about the raven divination ball since starting subscription boxes in 2017 i have wanted to bring you this magical tool and here it is I am so excited for this month's very special collection. The idea to include this tool came to me when I was thinking about the story of Persephone, how she spends half of the year, spring and summer, with her mother and the other half, winter, with Hades in the underworld. After falling in love with Hades, I'm sure she was happy to be both places, but longed for what she did not have. In spring, she is so thankful to be reunited with her mother, but secretly misses her husband, who remains in the underworld. She Does she use her divination ball so she can communicate with Hades while they are separated? Six months later, when she is re reunited with her husband, does she worry about her mother and try to find a way to communicate with her? Divination tools can close gaps and seem unfathomable to cross. That seem unfathomable to cross, but can help empower us to take control of our choices and give us hope when we can't seem to find it anywhere else. I hope your divination ball serves you well. Now that we have our Persephone's Garden Art Prints, our intuitively drawn tarot card, and a couple, a little bit more of her information. So, beautiful. I love that so much. Great information in there. I am like always learning about new goddesses, new deities, and different things, um, and rituals or um, traditions in these pamphlets. So, I definitely recommend reading through them fully. Um, and let's get into our beautiful ritual. So, Stick around to the end to see who the winner of last month's box contents are or is. Oh my gosh. And then I will also have the giveaway for this month's box. So see you later.
so dawn this one is for you look at your beautiful candle i just keep adding herbies as we go along um for all of our spells i know it's just been so beautiful Here is the pendant that I am charming for my middle daughter, Alana. I'm running it through that incense smoke. This, to draw pentacles on a lot of my tools with my oil so if I'm anointing something I'm usually draw, usually drawing a pentacle on it <laughs> and I also decided to turn the lights off for this um, ritual just because I really wanted to get into that um, this my scrying mood and my divination mood opening my mind to different messages that it was ready to present to me So another favorite thing I like to do, or another thing I try to do with all of my new tools especially, is get a feel for the energy. So um, when you're learning about crystals and you're learning about how they affect you and the, how their energy works, you it's good to try to feel and sense their, um, their energy radius, their aura. So that is what I was doing right there. And here you see me burning the names so our intentions can be released of all of our honeys. So be sure to go check out Christy and Sugar Muses down below. Check out her Instagram and her Facebook and all of the things. And finally, I'm so excited to announce the winner of last month's giveaway, Tia Moon. So thank you so much for watching. I am so excited for you. And I know you just got your first box. So I hope you enjoy last month's energies as well. So I decided to do a little something extra special. Um, and make this crystal scrying ball cleanser with the ingredients from this, this month's box. So this beautiful bottle will be included in this month's giveaway. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful it is. I was just dying with how gorgeous those angel wings made this purple scrying ball, crystal ball cleanser. So here are all the contents of this month's giveaway. I'm so excited. If you want to enter the giveaway, Go leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite divination tool is. Subscribe to my channel and ring my bell. Thank you so much for being here. Remember to be a wildflower and I will see y'all later. Bless and be. Bye.